Yo, wow. what's up? It's King Robo here, man. We are back. And we are ready. I'm trying to fix this place up. And uh, it's coming out pretty good. We got some collectibles all over the place. And um, I tried to find as many. But right now, I think we got enough. So let's jump into the next missions here. Hmm, networking, fast and the foodiest. Let's go networking first and we'll save the funnier one for last. These names. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Ventures. What was this one? Cash. Maybe we should do this one first. Yeah, let's do this one. Busy? I need your help with something. It's really important. I'm here. What's up? We need to get over to FB's ASAP. They're re-releasing the Mecha Burger. The what? The toy. Don't you remember? It looks like a hamburger, but turns into a robot. Limited edition re-release. Let's go. Okay. I guess we're going to collect some toys. A burger way back when. Everybody had one the summer I was nine. It was the most popular kids' meal toy Epi's ever produced. And you want to relive your childhood? <laughs> sure, no problem. Oh, shit. Do you think they're all here for the Mecha Burger? Doesn't matter if they are. We can just muscle up to the head of the line. All right, so I guess we'll just jump to the window. Welcome to FB's. Can I take your order? Uh, yes. Hi. May I please have a chicken brat box meal with a Mecha Burger toy? In purple, if you have it. We're out of Mecha Burgers. Shit. Well, there's another FB's in Marina Del Lago. Let's try there. My dude out here really want that toy. At least he said purple. <laughs> Crazy. The Marina's FBs is also out. The next closest is a Mercado. There are two in the flats, but we should try Mercado first. Dude, why is it so important to get a new one of these? Oh, I didn't have an old one. I never got one when I was a kid. It came out when I was in foster care. So. Oh, right. Let's get you a fucking mecha burger. Okay. What the hell are the idols doing here? Being pretentious anarchists and getting in everybody's way? What else? Well, they're between me and my kid's toy, so let's fix that. I wouldn't kill anybody over it, but... There's something, I guess. Oh my god, you're I'm so annoying! Beast. That's the last one. Let's get my burger. Hey, my friend here needs a chicken kid's meal with a burger toy. In purple. They're all gone. Those horrible people in pink stole the entire shipment. They said something about striking a blow against capitalistic materialism and soggy french fries fucking idols i hate Did soggy french fries thugs. taking joy from children fuck children they took joy from you buckle up what in the world type of line did our character just say what the <laughs> that's that's not cool
Who wrote that? There they are. Get them to pull over. Oh, shoot. Whatever. Just don't blow up the delivery car. Just don't destroy the Mecha Burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Limited edition mecha burgers. Nah, I just want one. Maybe sometime you could help me bring the rest down to the county orphanage? Absolutely. I wonder if I still have that old Santa Claus costume somewhere. Doesn't that costume have a shirt? Not when I wear it, baby. I don't even know what to say about this mission. Nice. Can customize the music. Yeah, we got some statues outside too. Let's check this out real quick. So I guess these are some that you can listen to. Newsflash. Santo Ileso. Members of the gang Los Panteros were arrested for antiquity smuggling after a truckload of stolen artifacts was intercepted in the desert outside Santo Ileso. Among the items recovered was the long-lost Hummingbird Codex. Okay, so if you wanted to, I guess, relive that piece of the station if you missed it, I guess you can listen to it there. And then we got all the stations here of all the music. The main ones for me has to be like Flex, Nuclear Blast, Overdrive, uh, maybe Outrun, but Cypher is taking that spot, you know, for music, for me. Um, you know what? Let's put this. Let's put this for the, uh, let's get Pineapple Express out of here. I don't even use that move that much. We'll get some cash, too, if we have any. I also went dumpster diving, uh, when I finished our last recording, and, um, I found a rare variant or a gun. So I will be showing that off in the showcase soon for the uh, weapons. Hey Eli, what's up? I hereby invite you to the inaugural meeting of the Saints Board of Directors. Oh, uh, that sounds pretty corporate structury. There'll be donuts. On my way. Okay, so we got the name, we got the home base, we got the logo. So that means next step is to find people that can shoot guns? No. Uh, so that means next step is to make connections with the people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Um. Okay. Everyone's action item is to reach out to their contacts and see what new business opportunities you can find for the Saints. Shit, my contacts all have their own things going already. What about JR? Your partner's on his garage, right? Maybe he'll go all in with the Saints? Couldn't hurt to ask. Great. What about you, Nina? I can't talk to any of my old Panteros contacts. But I do know some people who did business with them. I'm sure I can persuade them to do business with us instead. Nice. 
Kevin, <laughs> you want contacts? I got contacts, baby. Okay, go be superstars. Meantime, I'm gonna finish going through that briefcase we got from John Bland. That thing's a treasure trove, let me tell you. Everyone, keep me posted on your progress. Okay, uh, well, fun fact for everybody that already knows this, you know, OG fans. Uh, if the Saints wanted something, they just took it. They didn't go around looking for no connections unless the people were tight with them. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> oh, it, it's smart, but damn, it don't feel like a gang. It just feels like a capitalism type of nut that's trying to take over the city. I don't even know if I said that right. JR, how'd you like to be part of something big? My friends and I are starting a new venture. Sounds awful nice, but our current venture's in trouble. Those bad terrorists are cutting into our profits something fierce. I tell you what, join our new thing, and no one's ever gonna mess with this garage again. Well, you take care of this Pantero's problem, and I'll consider it. Deal. Yeah, I feel hopping in is just quicker. But, um... Yeah, like I said, man, they, they would just take the stuff. They didn't care who was in their way, they were taking it. Yep. So how are these Panteros fucking with our business? You name it. Undercutting costs, scaring off our customers. Sergio sent this jacked up mountain of a dude named Derek to run me out of business any way and every way he can. You take care of his toughs at the park, maybe you'll scare him enough to go mess with someone else. Say no more. <laughs> Jim Rob's garage is off limits. Show your face there again, you're dead. The old man you. Oh, come on, man. You mess with JR, you mess with us. That's not a bad ability. We're getting some health back. That's nice. Howdy. Hey, JR. I took care of the crew in the park. Well, I'll be. Let's go after their supply lines next. Derek's got a crew at the train depot smuggling in crates of stolen parts. That's how they keep undercutting my prices. Don't worry. I've got this. Feel free to blow up their cars, too. Panteros get real bugged by that. Oh, I should have um, brought the um, car that I customized. It would have made hey, this Eli, easy. I'm cleaning up a Pantero's problem for JR, and I think he's in. How's the rest of the team doing? Great. Kevin knows so many people. Ha! Ah, bet all he has to do is buy them coffee to get them to sign on while I'm busting my ass torching Pantero's cars. Come on. You know you love it. I really do. So basically, Kev is like the Shondi, but without all the uh, perks of just being cooler, you know. Because we already know Shondi was really cool. Territory, dumbass. It is now. You fuck with Jim Rob, you answer to the Saints. Ah. Ah. You think this is a game, motherfucker? That's how we do it. Oh, never mind. We got um, some cars right here. Do this! Ah! 
I actually found a mini uh, monster truck last night. Like I said before, the feature of running people over with this type of vehicle is fun. Tell Sergio Jim Rob's garage is under the Saints' protection. Jim Rob's. Two for two, JR. Son of a gun, you still got it. Only thing left to hit is Derek's HQ. It's down on the corner. Oh, hell's bells. You gotta get back here. Derek and his crew just rolled up on me. This is what you get for fighting back, old man. You get off of my land. Fuck. Better hurry. Trying to get up out of here. Here we come. It's time to die. One last time, stay away from JR. That settles Derek and his crew. Right thoughtful of him to bring the fight to us. So, what should I tell my friends? Are you in? I'm in. What do you call this new outfit? We're the Saints. Welcome aboard. No! Yes, sir. That's another one done. Well, we can count JR in. Uh, what is this? It's not board game night. No, this is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland, the real estate guy. Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right. So, how do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church... ...and Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. Alright, so we're unlocking the full game now. Let's try to put some stuff up in some nice spots. And the little pieces. We gotta get more of those. Alright, so the missions are completely locked until we get this done, I guess. Um, 
um, I think I know what I want to put here because it, it fits the area. It was a debate between those two, but yeah, we're gonna go Bright Future. So these are the collectibles you get after you finish everything. Okay, look. There's nothing cool about toxic waste. It's gross. It's probably gonna kill you, but that green stuff's gonna make us rich. The big companies drive their toxic waste here and pay us big bucks by the barrel. Then we dump it on the cheap. Now, my man with the plan is Jersey Dan. He did time for this kind of shit, so he knows what he's talking about. He'll fill you in. Dan, where are the trucks? Well, turns out we gotta get the trucks ourselves. What? Why don't the customers bring them here? Our customers are respectable captains of industry. They don't want to be associated with the likes of us. Then fuck them. Now hear me out. For an additional transport, I arrange to have them leave the trucks at places around the city. All you gotta do is drive them here. Fine. I'll get the trucks. And that's how you lead by example. I put the first one on the map for you. Yeah, I remember seeing this in the little uh, trailer they had for the gameplay. So this is definitely one that's going to be a little tricky to do. Yeah, we gotta be aware of that last one. But uh, the pickup, I wonder what that means. Hopefully they deliver a car. No, then what is it? Oh, it might be a car, don't pay me no mind guys. Let's just jump into the next mission. We got a couple here. Um, we'll go with the top one. Ah, uh, Nina, is that you? The fucking Pantero stole my fucking car. Your project car? <laughs> yes. This is Sergio stink all over it. I need your help. I'm getting my car back with interest. On my way. It would be nice if I can call up a car. I feel that's one thing they failed on. I am 10 seconds away from running some. So basically, if we see any red markers, those are threats. If anything, I'll show that off. But if it's just NPCs we just kill, I'll probably do them and get them out of the way for you guys. So you can see all the good main stuff. Alright, let's help our girl get a car back. Car back. You want the wheel? I'm trying not to drive angry. So, any idea where they took your car? They stole it. I'm gonna chop it. But you know Sergio. I want to make it personal. Take it for a spin, okay? Show the Panteros who's boss. Most likely place you do that is at the culvert and smell the smelter. Hopefully we can catch him there before he carves it up. Who knows what that car means to me? Damn. I don't 
don't know if I've ever said this in so many words, but that guy is a world-class crap sack. You spent hours on that car. I've spent years on that car. That's why he took it. As far as he's concerned, I didn't betray Los Panteros. I betrayed him. He's got to make it hurt. I don't get it. If someone betrayed me, I'd just, you know, bang. Not that I want him to do that to you. It just seems easy. That's not how it works in Los Panteros. You shoot someone in the face, they're dead. You fuck up their car, they're nothing. Uh, one question. The writers, man, what y'all doing? Like, what's up with these lame curse words? Like, if anything, you know what anybody would have said if this was, like, realistic. Take my car, you get hurt. Here's the culvert. They aren't gonna be happy to see you. Whatever. As long as I get my car. I got 20 bucks on Julio. This is what happens when you touch our stuff. Big mistake, Nina. Should have been burnt up. Just take one of theirs, I guess. What if we're too late? They're good people are professional. Cut it up clean so they can sell it for parts. So you can rebuild it then? Eventually. Doesn't mean I won't take it out of their ass for putting me through the trouble. Okay, so we got her teleporting in. It's a little weird, but it's whatever. Gabriel, where's my car? It's not here. No digas pendejadas. We both know you chopped Sergio's special project. I don't think he's gonna talk. He's our only fucking lead. Wait, what did you say about Los Panteros? Shoot one in the face and they're dead. But fuck up their car, and they're nothing. Wait, what? <laughs> Nina! Uh, I thought we had to blow it up. Oh, my paint job, my fucking paint job. Really? Why did you just blow it up? Talk. Sergio took your car to the quarry. What? Oh no. No, 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 no. We gotta go. We gotta go now. At least you got to see some of the customization. Right, to the quarry. I don't get it. 
What's that mean? What's the quarry? It means Sergio doesn't want to chop my car. He doesn't even want to sell it for scrap. You mean he's gonna? Right over the edge. There's no fixing that. You don't stop me. Crap sack. Hey, oh, we got all kind of pair terrors up our ass. I gotta reload. Don't worry, we'll get there in time. You're out of one way. anything slow you down don't get me wrong they made car chases very interesting but I'm still tripping over the dialogue man Step on it. please 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 I drove that car all the way here from Guadalajara. My family's so far away, you know? It felt like I was keeping part of them with me. She never let anyone else drive that car. Who? My mom. But when Kimo made her weak, I drove her around. Ah, oh, fuck. I promised her I'd take care of that car. Ella confiaba en mí. Let's go. We can still catch up to him. Nah. If Sergio's gonna fuck with my family, I'm gonna fuck with his. Okay, that was decently a good, good way to put that. This is not the third where we just instantly kill off the bad guys really quickly. Like, uh, Lebrin, I think his name was. Okay, we got another one here. The Forge. If this is new, this might continue what we was doing here. Yeah, might as well just uh, keep destroying this stuff. It's me. Time to pay Sergio back for what he did to my car. I have a plan, but I need you to get me into the Scorpion factory. That's Pantero's HQ. 
Give me a sec, give me a sec. Got it. Meet me at the FBs in Mercado. It's gonna be another long ride, this so... This is my happy place. Alright, um, yeah, it's gonna nice be a long to ride. So, I'm gonna cut it there. And I'll see you when I get there. Alright, we're here. How you liking this uh, little monster truck I got? Looks cool. So you said you got a plan. Yep. I'm gonna blow up all their cars and destroy the forge so they can't make more. Uh, how exactly? Today's the first Wednesday of the month, barbecue day. Everybody will be outside for lunch. The factory will be almost deserted, except for the cars. We get in, go through the garage, torching everything with wheels. You take care of anybody who might try to stop us. Then, when we get to the forge, I know where they keep the oxyacetylene tanks for welding. That stuff's explosive as fuck. You hold them off while I roll the tanks right down its throat. Boom. No more forge. Damn, that is a plan. The best part is, Sergio's out on a collection run. By the time he even hears about it, it'll be too late. How are we gonna get inside the Scorpion factory? By liberating a helicopter from the aerial gun range. So what now? It's a tourist thing. They rent out helicopters, machine gun turrets, then fly them over the desert and shoot them. I don't know, whatever's up there to shoot them. This is for fucking real. No, right? Fine. If stealing a tourist assault helicopter gets me inside the factory, whatever. I do know a guy I can borrow one from, but his rates are pretty high. I think they showed snippets of this in the gameplay also. Yeah. Yeah, they showed snippets of this. So now we got the context of what really happened and what's going on. <laughs> hey, you need a ticket. So, this sports thing we're blowing up? It's the giant furnace Los Banteros used to make all the custom gear and weapons and bling for their cars. Ha! That'll cut Sergio off at the knees. It'll do more than that. Forge is symbolic. Power, protection, and home and heart. Everything Los Banteros are supposed to be about. We're gonna rip out his heart. Yeah, I don't like how the helicopters control on here. I'm sorry. It's just me. Okay, now this is interesting. They get more missions like this. Maybe without the helicopter, this being this weird, then yeah, we got some.
Here's hoping I can land this without crashing. We'll have to go into the vent. We're in. Let's blow some shit up. Fuck up their cars and they're nothing, right? Exactly. You wreck my car, I wreck all your fucking cars. All right. Take out the cars and keep moving. Jeez. Your plan called for this place to be deserted? It should have been. You must be able to double set. Look at all the This dude came out of nowhere. You want to hit somebody. Yeah, come here. Ooh. <laughs> come with me to the control booth. You're gonna need the crane. Crane. Your plan didn't include a crane. I would remember the crane. Okay, I'm here, but... Oh. Get the game going, acting weird again. Like, wait, what? What? Where did you come from?
takedowns are pretty cool too. All we need is a nut shot take down and we're good. Skip to the part where we get back to where we were. Jeez. Is it over? Holy shit, that was me levels of crazy. Now, what was your exit plan? I planned that you'd improvise. I trust you too. Oh, okay then. Follow me. Got the test car. You need exit plan. Get forward. What kind of question is that? Watch my back. No, you don't. Okay, technically that's like a nut shot. This Thompson is really good to use. Wow. Another interesting mission to me in general. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but that was kind of nice. Okay. Nice. 
So we're getting some good rewards here. Alright, and we leveled up too. Okay, I think I'm going to end it here. We uh, did a lot this video, so if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, keep them notifications on because we're going to jump into the next part tomorrow, definitely. Until then, peace.